Hello Capricorn. Welcome to your apologies and affirmations video. Being a Capricorn sun in both Vedic and Western astrology, um, I'm really feeling home in this one. Um, and, and I know a fair amount of other Capricorns too. And I'm going to say that the two main things that you deserve apologies for. One, like Sagittarius, for being a workaholic. Um, for devoting too much of your time to your work and passion projects, but that's what Saturn often drives us to do. Um, and the other part of that is for people suggesting that you are cold or unemotional, which really is absolutely not fair because as Capricorn, you are capricious. You actually have a whole ton of moods, but like Aries and, um, and Leo, especially you have been, you know, whether, you have one or several strong Capricorn placements or even just a really heavy Saturn placement. Um, early on, you know, you were your capricious self. You were like the, the billy goat kid, you know, jumping around, enjoying yourself, just being inspired by spirit and your connection. And actually, you know, a good friend pointed out to me even that Capricorn is the only sign within the Zodiac that actually it shows an evolution. And we often get it wrong in feeling like, it's a sea goat. It's not really. It's just that made more sense as one glyph. But it's you start as a fish in the deep sea of emotion and then you evolve. You come onto land. You become a goat and you climb the mountain and you look over that sea as to where you used to be. And you can see that you have risen and you have evolved. And when you start as a fish in the ocean, you're very emotional. You're very playful. Think of, I mean, a lot of, uh, a lot of, um, astrologers believe that the other the other glyph for Capricorn is the dolphin. They think that the goat part was mistaken, and that's why it's a sea goat, because they consider you the dolphin. But really, if you think about dolphins, they're so incredibly intelligent, but they're also deeply emotional. They're one of the few mammals that we, that scientists believe are, like, almost, in fact, in many ways more evolved than humans. And but they know how to keep their emotions in too. And we've had to learn that. There's been so many times when we have been that, you know, Romeo, Juliet energy that we have, you know, much in the way with cancer, which is why you often get along with them very well, is you understand the basis of, of being reserved and keeping a part of yourself back. Not necessarily hidden. We're not quite the type to hide things, uh, but we will definitely portion out parts of ourselves. You know, I'm sure that you portion parts of yourself out because you don't want to scare anyone away and you don't want to be rejected either. Like, not that's not fun. And I'm sorry for all the times in your life life um, and the times that will happen that people will suggest that you are emotionless or, or too big but more to the point because you're an earth energy it's going to be on the other side um, that they suggest that you're cold or that you don't need anybody or really I mean you know what that's another big apology that um, I, I've given myself recently is you know I'm sorry for all the people who abandoned you because they took they took your reserved nature to mean that you didn't need anybody that you were okay doing everything yourself which really is a byproduct of how you had to grow up um, rather than an actual truism to who you are and unfortunately a lot of the other signs are not going to really understand that unless they also have some some strong experiences or placements to you um, because you've had to be tough you've had to do that you've had to sink your emotions into your work because that is something you can control you can control you you can't control anyone else and although yes we do need to learn to just be authentic and say, you know what, it's kind of like with Sag, you know, here's the thing is it, it is okay to be you and follow your passion. It is okay to be authentic. And if somebody else thinks that that's egoic or they think that that is you being too big or you working too much, well, you know what, that says a lot more about their insecurities. I mean, you know, take what resonates for you. We do, we all need to learn things. And so if there's a part of you that says, yeah, I do need to work on that, or I could work a little less, I could take a vacation right now, then okay, hear that. But if you feel like you're just getting a lot of people who are saying, well, you're not giving me enough attention. Well, 
recognize that while you can give them a little more attention, at least take the time to evaluate, is it really about you not giving them enough attention? Or is it about an envy from them about your ability to focus on your work and, and, and be, you know, mature in the sense that you know that there's a time and a place for being emotional and a time and a place for being passionate about your work and passion projects. Um, yeah, so, you know, take that in Capricorn. Well, I'm going to say, you know, your, your main affirmations, it's okay to be emotional and especially authentic in that. And actually it will help you a lot more, uh, show people that you really are. Yes, you're tough. You're tough as nails, but you have emotions. You need people to, and it is okay to require that people help you. Um, because otherwise, you know, you're going to sink into your own melancholy side and let everybody just think, oh, well, she doesn't need any help or he doesn't need any help. They're, they can do it on their own and then they will. They'll do that. So it is okay to be emotional, including being angry when people do not meet with the, with their own commitments to you. That's okay. And on the other side of that, I'm going to say that your, your main affirmation is that it's okay to be you. Um, I think it's more, I, I, you know, maybe it's more carry on to this last one, but it's okay to be you. You are good enough as you are. Uh, you do a lot and you probably do more than a lot of people do and more behind the scenes because you are the social architect. You are the father of the Zodiac. You are the office. You know, you see how things work. You know what you know. Um, maybe that's another one. That's the other side of that is you know what you know. And the only person who ever really even gets to you is you. So you know what you know, and it's okay to know what you know, even if you can't act on it, it is okay. So you be you, don't let people either make you think that you are emotionless or let them run away because they think you can do it on your own and just be your fun, <laughs> capricious, dolphin self. All right, Capricorn, make sure to check your other placements. Remember, this was for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or Mars. Mostly, you can take this for other placements too if you want. All right.